Hey everyone. I thought we would change up a bit today. I said I had a new deck to reveal and so I thought let's try an on-camera reading. So um, we're going to try it out. We'll see how it goes. I do want to get into some lives um, but I'm just having like we all have when we start out. It's really hard to get stuff to upload without glitching. So I'm sure the videos now are playing probably rather glitchy. Um, so it's just the, it's just the name of the game in tarot channel land. So, um, eventually we'll get some lives up. Oh, I always like to throw the table shower. Oh, it must be ace of coins. So new deck, the antique anatomy deck. I'm very excited. Antique anatomy tarot. Um, I love the pictures on it. I'm a gardener and I love skulls. So you can follow my other channel. I do gardening, um, plant crafts. I'm rocking the ripped jeans. I just did a ripped jeans tutorial. Um, I'm all about growing food. So in the summer, I'll do farmer's markets. Um, I teach seed harvesting. Just anything to grow your own food, even if you live in an apartment and you have a balcony. You can actually grow a lot inside. The only problem you'll have then is there is some UV protection on your windows. So you won't really, you'll get sun, but you won't, you won't get full sun and you won't get pollination. So you'd have to hand pollinate all your plants, basically, to grow them inside. But anyways, we'll do that maybe next winter. I love a good plant experiment, which is why I love this deck. So, okay. We're going to popcorn the first one. And then we're, oh, did that one want to come out? Well, I have to look at it if it gets stuck. Page of coins. Could be overall energy. We're getting coins. Two coins. Ace and the page. Okay. I'm not taking that one because it didn't flip, but it was a sticker. It was sticking out on us. That's my flipper, but I've got two. I'm not taking it. Hangman looks pretty though. I want one. We want one overall. One overall. Come on, cards. I have shuffled these a whole bunch. I've been sitting on them a while, but I just thought it's time. It's time to get these bad boys out. We are not rolling smoothly on the first on camera. Read. <laughs> oh, there it is. We have an official flipper. That's what I was going for. It is in the reverse. The high refont. I'm going to show off this deck. So high refont in reverse. Overall energy. Problem. Judgment in the reverse. Okay. Are we going deep? Are we going dark? Maybe we're getting dark on this one. Okay. Knight of Blades. Sorry. I'm so excited. Am I glowing? I feel glowing. So outside influence, the influence affecting you is Knight of Blades. Could be a jerk. Let's see what we get. The Lovers. Distant past. Is this a breakup read? Is this a breakup read? I always say that every time. Every time I go, is this a divorce reading? Um, okay. Influence. The sun. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Sorry. The sun. You did have the sun in reverse. Sorry, sorry guys, it wasn't the reverse. I need to be careful how I flip my cards because sometimes I want to flip them this way and I need to flip them that way. The world, okay. This is a, what are we getting into here, guys? 
What do you have going on? Your ending. Uh, clearly, there's one hell of an ending going on here. The future is the world in the upright. The world is in your hands. The world is your oyster. Maybe this is my reading. Maybe this was the way to go. If you could bear through. Oh, shit. If you could bear through the first couple minutes there. Okay. We have the tower in reverse. I take the tower as the tower. The tower is the tower. There's no reversal on the tower. I'm just telling you for clarification the way it came out. Cups. Ace of Cups. So it's really hard to figure out what these are for a sec because it's like, okay, Elixir, figure one. So that's the Ace. Sorry, it's not really coming in clear, is it? Okay. Ace of Cups on the outside influence. Two of Swords in the reverse. I'm showing them in the upright. Sorry, I'm not, my nails, like, I'm so self-conscious about my hands now that I do stuff on camera. How funny is that? And I'm a handyman gardener on my other channel, so my hands are always, like, jacked up. But all the other tarot readers have, like, you know, all the good tarot readers have, like, the perfect nails. And I'm like, oh, God. Um, I'm just being real here. I'm just being real here, people. Um, and then we have King of Cups in the reverse. So... I really think I'm going to have to get some clarifiers out. I think I, I wanted this to be just um, just these cards for this reading, but I think we're going to, I'm going to, and I'll do another read where I'm just like camera down probably. Okay. Okay, let's re let's review while we're let me decide which which oracle I want to use here. I think we're gonna use these. You got a lot on the table here, though. Okay, go back down. Then it's hard for me to read them again. So I have to, okay, high refront in the reverse with the overall. So you're coming, maybe you're coming out of seclusion. Maybe this isn't all bad. Okay. I'm getting the full picture here. I mean, you've got seclusion. Reversal to me can be coming out of seclusion. So it's, it's all how you want to read it, you know. You've got death in the reverse. So it, it's ended. You're over the ending. Okay. You've got king of blades. So you are King of Blades or you were dealing with a King of Blades, you know? Um, you've got the Lovers, which is New Beginning or New Love. Could be New Love. You've got the World. You've got the World as, as your future, though. Miracle. That's not very clarifying, just going to be honest. It could be a miracle you survived your situation. If you were dealing with a bad apple. I'm just being straight up. You know I hate a negative rate. But if it comes to my head, I have to say it. So let's see, destiny on top of the miracle, okay, this could be a miracle, this could be your miracle after ending, actually, maybe your miracle is on its way, you've got the sun in reverse, so you weren't the star, or you were not feeling very the star, Maybe you weren't priority. Maybe you weren't someone's priority. And they're done that. Happily single people, where are you? 
It's hard. You can spend nine days out of ten, right? Happily single. And then there's just that one day the snow falls and you're like, I'm so lonely. <laughs> but I get to focus on my career for a while and not have anyone waste my time away from that, I think will be really good for me. Sorry, that was too many flippers for me to take there. If it's two or less, I'll take them. Completion. All right. We'll take completion on that. You're definitely over it. You're over it. I'm over it. We're all over it. Grief. You have grief on the lovers. So. Is it breakup reading? Is it post breakup reading? <laughs> It never gets old. Is this a divorce reading? Is this, what is going on here? Okay. New day, new me. New day, new you. Okay. I've been alone a while. Quite a while. And then you have re relationships. Okay, creation wanted to come out twice, so I am going to take it. You have creation on the sun in reverse. Maybe this is my reading. I say that every time too. Like, well, maybe this is my reading. You've created a bright new, bright new future. I mean, you've got it on the star in reverse. You're creating your own reality. I like that. We're creating our own reality here, guys. <clears throat> my other channel, I got a whole bunch of videos dropping this weekend. Whoever you are, if this is not my rating, I love, I love you right now. Male, female, I don't even mean that like sexually. Self-worth on top of the world. So you are. You are new day, <laughs> new me, new life, okay? Um, I went like full-blown sarcasm on a couple videos, tutorials. And um, listen, it's either going to make or break me. So, but it's authentic. So what can I do? You have rejection on the tower in reverse. So it, it, I'm taking it as like, it doesn't matter who left who, right? Like who really gives a shit at this point? Or do you? I don't. Um, rejection on the tower in reverse though, like you were rejected. Or, you're re or you rejected because you weren't getting all you should get. And I don't mean that in like, he should buy you everything or she should wait on you hand and foot. I just mean emotional intelligence, like 100-100 in a relationship. You know, you were not the sun. You were not the center of their world. Um, they were probably arrogant because you had the king of swords there in reverse. And he's either a good guy or a bad guy. So, um, I take it as maybe you rejected that. You have vanity on the outside influence and it's on the King of Cups. So, I don't know if your person was vain. You know, I'm hit or miss with vanity though. I will say that, like. You've got trickery on the two of blades in reverse. Um, you know, vanity can also be self-care, right? Like, I am, I'm a vintage lover, so I have, like, a vanity. You know what I mean? So, I don't really necessarily take that as, as that one or the other of you is being vain. You have it on the king. Was that the king of, oh, the ace of cups. Sorry, new deck. I love this deck. Um, so you have it on the Ace of Cups. So you could be being your own Ace of Cups right now. Like you could be doing self-care. That was a dropper. We're taking it. Facade. So it was you're leaving a facade. Or you're making a really good one. <laughs> Just, <laughs> so yeah, I take it as you have definitely you know, left something behind and towers like, like, like here, let's really get into it for a minute. You know, 
you have destiny and miracle, right? So sometimes like you're as much as it sucks and you could be turning 40 this year and single, like don't let the person that you weren't meant to be with keep you from the love of your life. Sometimes you are meant for this crap to happen so that you can grow, so that you can figure out what you do and don't want, what you will and won't put up with. You do have to find your self-worth before you can take over the world. It's, it's true. And I hate that they say you can't love anyone until you love yourself. I don't so much believe that um, because I'm over here like I'll love you until you love yourself. <laughs> um, that's just me, but I, you know, that's that love and light life that we live, right? Speak the love into you. Um, not in a domestic way. Um, anywho, anywho. So, um, you know, also how many times have we heard if you're watching any other tarot, right? Sometimes rejection is God's protection. So sometimes you need the tower to fall down, you know, uh, does it suck and does it hurt sometimes? Yeah. I mean, there could have been some trickery. Trickery doesn't have to be, you know, he had 18 fake profiles and was talking to 18 other women or men. It could just be that, you know, sometimes someone will really like you or what you bring to the table, but they don't want to overall be with you. So they could, you know, you could essentially be being like strung along by someone that really didn't want what you want, or they pretended to be something else or, you know, they're there. And that's from insecurity. Honestly, a lot of times I don't even think it's malicious every time. I think it's insecure, lonely people who don't know what they want. If you really want to know how I feel about narcissists, I think they're a whole bunch of freaking ninnies, little sissy crybaby boys. Yeah. They, don't, they can't even stand on their own. They had to bully other people to feel good about themselves. The mean ones. I mean, there's two types of narcissists. So that's just my opinion. Once you figure it out, once you figure out someone is a narcissist, you can play them like a fiddle. You can. Do I recommend that? No. Do they deserve it? Probably. But just my experience. You should turn everything in reverse on them. Play on their ego. Uh, this just comes from my business background, psychology, human relations, and business. I know people very well. So, <laughs> just leave him, just leave him behind, just go girl or guy, you got this. It's, in, it's written in the cards, new dawn, new day, okay? New cards, new camera angle, we'll try it out, we'll see, we'll see how this goes, maybe I'll do, you know, I do like some scheduled readings where I just... You know, when I feel like doing a reading and I do a little setup, you can't see it's off camera now. And I do my little setup and then I'll do a few of them. So those I kind of schedule out and then I put my pop-up reads in between. So, um, I love the seven and seven chakra I did the other night it was just like a speed round, but it was so fun. It was like, I like the challenge of it. Like seven chakras in seven minutes. Okay. We're going to end with. The Wolf Moon, number 31. Okay, I will have to read from the book. I like that. I like the Wolf Moon for you. Howl away. Communication, confidence, and your needs. Have you ever felt like howling at the moon, believing that is the only way anyone will listen to you? This is the card of communication, and when it comes up in a spread, it is asking you to speak up, speak out, and make yourself heard. Just as one wolf howls to another, it is time to raise your voice and sing out your wishes, dreams, and desires. Raise your concerns, talk about your feelings, 
ask for what you want, and use your voice to get your needs met. What is more, this card is encouraging you to become more of an alpha in your life. It is no longer enough to simply follow the pack. Now it is time to take the lead and make suggestions for positive change. Even a lone wolf howls at the moon from time to time, eager to find a mate and to start a new pack. Do not be afraid to build a new pack if the old one is no longer serving you. It may be time for you to move on, but you won't know until you begin to speak up for yourself. So be prepared to make yourself heard. Okay, I just want to now get back to the tarot, how I love it when the ending oracle really does tie in, because you had, what was the very first card that you had for this? The Hierophant in reverse. So that's going inside, thinking, not speaking out, right? And then what did you have on that? You had judgment in reverse. So this doesn't have to be, this doesn't have to necessarily be a relationship. Again, this could be new life path, new soul tribe, new, I'll relate everything back to business because I'm like entrepreneur, but like also like there's so much that goes with that. And then, you know, I am on my own new life path too. And, and, it, and it all coincides together. And like, it can be really hard and really lonely and hard to keep your self-worth while you're going through that and going through those changes and even just leaving groups of friends. I've completely walked away from my life more than once, okay? little secret about me. Um, I'll walk. I'll pack all my sh I got my own cargo trailer. I'll move. I'll move 100 miles away and not talk to anyone. Hell, I'll change my name. It don't bother me a bit. But now, like I said, 9 out of 10 days, it's easy to stand in that confidence. But you hit that 10 day and it can throw you into a 10 day. So stay strong. Howl at that moon. Howl at that moon. Whoever you are, whoever's reading this is, you howl at that moon. Okay? And when you find yourself broken, alone, lost your soul tribe, if you don't want to leave it in the comments, do I have my email up? I got to get that email up. It's, it's hard to type out a whole description on a phone. So my computer is also broken. I'm not sure what happened. I have a young child. He claims it wasn't him. I'm not even mad. I just need to get a new computer. Um, and it'll be a lot easier to type out all the fancy descriptions and, uh, leave all my email and all my blah, blah, blahs in every video. So for now, you just have to go find it in the about channel, but that's growth. Like anything you start to do, you got to have your growing pains. So, um, thank you for watching. If this did resonate at all, you know, please feel free to like, comment, all, any of that, just even, uh will help me um and remember here at the divine pool each and every day has a new opportunity for shit to go wrong and we will be here to transmute that with you so i am going to wrap this up and um i'm going to ring the bell for you I need to shorten the string on it, I think. Look. Oh, this was a long one. This will take forever to upload. Sorry. Um, so you guys will, when you guys see this, it will be Friday. So happy weekend. Um, there's a bunch of reads going out. And I will probably try to do a couple more reads with this deck so that I can get used to it. And I will, I did kind of like this on camera thing. Um, so I think I'll try another, excuse me another one and see how it goes and um hopefully we can have a really good weekend here and um i will work on doing some lives next week so that way if anyone wants to do like a live um card poll or anything like that um we can do that so 
Thank you very much. Happy Friday. Um, a macrame tutorial went up yesterday on my other channel. Today is rolling out the pre tie dye. And then this weekend, I'll be unpouching some different prepper seed packs, um, which, like I said, is either going to make or break me because the sarcasm and the truth was so raw in that um but you know you can't fake authenticity so I can just me um where I live I live in the city right now but where I live what I say about south siders is what we're called is if you live on the south side you're a little bit country and you're a little bit hood you're a little bit bad and you're a little bit good so <laughs> like we're good people but you don't want to you don't want to. Grandma's fist fight in the street here. Like, this is, like, known for, like, our side of town drives crazy, too. Like, we do not care. We do not. And it's the melting pot. It is, like, this side of town is, like, mini Chicago. Um, not in a bad way. I mean, it's, like, literally, like, the melting pot. I've got a Mexican grocery store. I've got an Asian grocery store. Um, it used to be Italian, so I'm Italian descent, so it used to be like a huge Italian area, so now it's a Hispanic, Italian, Asian, I don't, I could cover every Asian, Laos, Thai, I mean, we've got, uh, we've got, we've got, we are the melting pot, so, um, it makes it fun and exciting, so, um, sometimes, sometimes it is not fun and exciting, um, but anywho, um, all for one and one for all. We got really weird at the end, didn't we? 